media disruption in the food equipment service industry. Um, just to give you a little context and background into, into who I am. So, you know, I'm looking to build a brand, kind of something different than the industry may be used to seeing. And jumping on these platforms was something that was, you know, not easy. There's a lot of fear with Jennifer's video yesterday, uh, the fear of what people might think, what, what manufacturers that we work with might think, am, am I gonna be um, making me, my company and myself an outcast by putting out a lot of this content. So there's a lot of fear in doing all this stuff. Um, but like that video said on the other, you know, all these great things lie on the other side of fear. And a lot of opportunities have been coming because of that. I'm standing here because of my, my media journey that I started back in 20, uh, January of 2018. So who, who I am, um, family business, Maliki Partner Service in uh, Bayonne, New Jersey. We're a small town, uh, about 15 minutes outside of Manhattan. And we service about 75% of the state. We have 15 technicians. And I am, uh, through a succession plan, my sister and I, in 2017, August 2017, we bought our father out. At, I don't do this alone. So I have my sister with me. She's my younger sister. She hates that picture. That's why it's there. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, so she's an intricate part of everything that we're doing. You know, I get to stand here today because of her, uh, amongst other people that I have in the business. God bless. Um, you know, so she, she's involved um, heavily in, in payroll and HR stuff and, and, and paying, you know, paying the bills, administration stuff. And that allows me, again, to be here, along with some other key personnel that I put in place that years ago as a family business, we really... You know, we didn't have that. And my father was stuck behind the service desk and just wouldn't relinquish the seat. And just there was trust problems. There was different things of that nature. But again, that's old school. It's how he grew up. That's what he knew. And thankfully, again, that's, that's, that's why we're here now. So to talk about social media, when we, when we get going, we have to find, I think the best question before you all start is to ask why. Why do I want to do this? So for me, there were, some, there were several reasons. All right? There's a lot of selfish reasons, but there's a lot of unselfish reasons. Um, for, for business, for business-wise, I wanted to get more transparent. I wanted to uh, get closer to my customer. I wanted them to see inside the doors of a service business. I wanted them to understand our issues that we're going through as we try to help them. I want to build empathy. I want them to know that you know, we're going through some things, they're going through some things, this is a relationship, and there's no better way to portray that than through video. So that's one of the reasons. Manufacturers, manufacturer partnerships, you know, though we were factory authorized for a lot of them, it, it wasn't all of them. So there was a lot of brands that I wanted to partner with, and that began to develop through my media channels, getting on LinkedIn, saying hello to people, and not going right for the gusto, right? So you got, it's, this is about building relationships. If you, if you want. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, the manufacturer partnerships, I mean, so, and, and you want to get into, their, into the LinkedIn inboxes, and you want to talk to them, and you want to just say, hey, here's who I am, here's what I do, and you, and you don't go right for it. It's just like any relationship that you're going to start. You're, you're building a rapport with people. So uh, I, I'm a big follower of Gary Vee. I don't know if anybody follows Gary Vee in here. Anybody? Gary Vee? So he has a book called Jab, 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 Right Hook which in simple terms is uh, ask, 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 and then, or uh, give, 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 and then ask. So that's kind of the same thing that we do here on a regular basis on, on media. That's, that's what we're doing. So everybody likes numbers. So uh, Jennifer had some numbers up yesterday. And to kind of just give context of all the people that are in this world and all the people that are on their phones. So 7.7 .7 billion people in the world. <laughs> 4.4 billion users are on the internet. So why are we on the internet? Why are we on these media channels? Why are we doing it? Because we're trying to gain attention. We're gain, we want to gain attention from our customers, our potential customers. I want attention from uh, you know, my manufacturers. I want attention from the dealers and the reps. Even the stuff that we're talking about from the families or the channel partners, a lot of those things can be discussed on these videos and we could be learning from each other on a regular basis, getting inside the pain points of what Mopsy is doing and what Feed is doing, I have no clue. I, as long as I, I've been, I've, and I've been around the business since I'm, I'm 17, from 99, I have no clue the, the real pain points that Mopsy and Feed and all these guys are going through. 
no clue. And when you bring the video part, part to it, it could, it could really give us a different insight and begin to deploy more empathy and understanding. And I think that could change the game for, for us as an industry whole. So everyone, so 7.6 social media accounts. You have an Instagram, you have a LinkedIn, you have a Facebook, you have a YouTube. I mean, everybody's there. The average person has 7.6 social media accounts. Daily time spent on social media, 142 minutes a day. So it's a lot of time. Um, I'm probably on there more than that. Uh, and to talk about time, so we talk, me and Roger talk about we don't have time. You know, when are you spending that time? Am I spending that time during my workday? Because my first job is running Maliki Parts of Service. That is the bread and butter. That is everything. I can't do any of this without that. But you have to make it a priority. So if I have to go home at 7 o'clock at night and begin to deploy posts and make things get ready for the next day from 7 to midnight, then that's what I'm going to do because it's a priority to me to continue to build brand, build trust, build transparency, and connect with everyone in this room. I, I want to be connected with everyone in this room. I, this, this is my audience. And the guy sitting next to you, the girl sitting next to you, those are your audience. And opportunity lies in a lot of these things. And it might not be the opportunity you even thought. Uh, and, and I go back to Roger again. I'm so thankful I started this media journey just because I met him. I admire everything that he does. He's so forward thinking, he's so far ahead. And I know I'm going to get to learn so much from him and what he's doing. And he's, and he's open to it. He's supportive. So you don't realize the connections and the support you can get to take things to the next level for you and your business. So let's just go. So 78% of people watch online videos every week. 55% watch every day. I mean, a show of hands, I'm sure everybody is online watching videos. YouTube, we're all watching YouTube every day. Everybody? Every, every day. Even if it's something silly like, like Barstool Sports, we're watching one bite, everybody knows the rules. I mean, I watch that guy every day, right? Um, but, then, but then you go over to some other stuff. You have your Gary Vee stuff. You have your um, uh, T Tom Bilu and all these different guys that you're watching. So you're, you're, you know, we're going there for a lot of reasons. Some entertainment, we're going there for value, education. So just to go through the platforms, Facebook, still the biggest. Um, photos uploaded at 300 million per day. Every 60 seconds on Facebook, 510,000 comments are posted, 293,000 statuses are updated, and 136,000 photos are uploaded. The question is, are you on these, are you on Facebook right now consistently? Are you part of those numbers? By, by show of hands, are you guys part of those numbers? Are you posting every single day for your business, for your brand? So Facebook now sees 8 billion average daily video views from 500 million users. The attention is there. So we talk about talent, right? We talk about finding new technicians. And I'll give you some examples from my, my, my recent uh, um, endeavors here as, as I've been putting video out. I have one hire that I made from a, for a technician watching my videos and reached out to me. I said, Rich, I love what you're doing. I see you're all about training. You're all about people. I'm at a company right now that doesn't really value that. They're not a bad company, but I want more. Came in, sat down. This guy's been at it for 10 years. I have a new tech. Put him in a van. He's rocking. That would have never happened if I wasn't putting. And, and this was from Facebook. He was watching me on Facebook. So that shows, just goes to show you, you got to be everywhere. 